you are watching Redicon. We will discuss different types of biological effects of ionizing radiation. The most common way to describe radiation effects is deterministic effects and stochastic effects. The above figure compiles these two. The deterministic effects appear after exposure to radiation exceeding a certain level. Most deterministic effects are categorized into acute disorders which appear within weeks after the original exposure. On the other hand, stochastic effects are those which cannot be denied even with the low dose exposure, assuming there is no safe or threshold value. Deterministic effects classic examples are eye lens cataracts, skin injuries, appellation and infertility. A common life example of deterministic effects is inflating a balloon which bursts after the certain amount of air has been inflated. The amount of that air is threshold volume. In stochastic effects, there is a linear non-threshold relationship between dose and biological effects such as radiation-induced neoplasm and inheritable genetic defects. It is more like a long travel or journey with various options resulting into different destinations. These are some of the examples of deterministic effects such as a radiation injury to skin and underlying tissues, cataract or dermatitis. Next are stochastic effects, which are two types, somatic and hereditary. First, the somatic type. Within a millisecond after irradiation, DNA breaks and the base damage occurs. A second after radiation, DNA repair starts. If the repair fails, the cell death and mutation occurs within an hour to one day. It takes some time until this damage develops into clinical symptoms at an individual level. After the initial incubation period, acute and early effects will come. However, years after the original irradiation, late effects such as cancer might develop. That is somatic type of stochastic effect. A set of slides demonstrates initiation, progression and spread of tumor years after DNA damage. Initial illustration shows different layers of the skin. You can see dividing cells in the basal layer or basal lamina. An initiating event creates a mutation in one of the basal cells. Rapidly dividing cells begin to accumulate within the epithelium this is dysplasia. More changes within the proliferative cell layer lead to full tumor development, which may still be benign. The tumor breaks through this basal lamina. The cells are irregular shaped. They have increased mobility and invasiveness. Finally, cancer cells break through the wall of a lymphatic or blood capillary. Now they can migrate throughout the body and potentially seed new tumors. This is metastasis. This slide summarizes the carcinogenesis. On the left hand side, it shows a normal cell undergoing mutation, then a cancer cell formation and proliferative phase leading up to full blown cancer. On the right side, there is a graph which shows after the atomic bombing, leukemia increased in about two years, but the incidence decreased thereafter. On the other hand, cases of solid cancers in red line started to increase after an incubation period of almost 10 years. Before switching from somatic type of stochastic effects to the hereditary type, it is important to consider the psychological effects of radiation. In an event of radiation accident, 
people would be worried about the exposure to radiation, the extent of the exposure, and the possible health impact. Parents in particular would be concerned about the immediate and long-term health effects on their children. People's mental health may deteriorate as a result of protracted anxiety over possible health effects. It has also been pointed out that the anxiety of mothers might affect the mental state and growth of their children. In large-scale radiation events, the anxiety could be heightened by being unable to acquire reliable or accurate information about the radiation event. It has also been reported that unreasonable public stigmas and discrimination or stereotypes about people could exacerbate their mental health problems. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.